Bilal, you get the Bilal, you get the opportunity to go up against Luka Doncic tonight for the first time in your career. Uh, were you a fan of his game growing up? And then how excited are you for this opportunity? Yeah, I always liked his game. You know, a uh, European guy like me. So, yeah, I can't wait to get on the court and uh, try to get some stops. For sure. So going into game number 11 tonight, it's crazy. It's going by pretty quickly. What do you think is probably the most important thing that you've learned about being a pro through the first 11 games? Being at the... Uh, 100% every time, uh, just give everything. Uh, even though you, you, you go into some mistakes, but just be, just play as hard as possible. I saw you made the decision to start rocking a headband. Who is influencing that decision? Not nobody. <laughs> That's <laughs> you. Myself, yeah, when I started to put some braids on, I was like, yeah, I got to Gotta lace it up. I dig it. I yeah. dig it. Uh, you made your debut uh, this afternoon on NBA.com's Rookie Ladder. What does it mean to be getting to you to get some national love? No, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's what I want. To be one of the best in, the, in my job. So, yeah. And I saw you've got the opportunity to have your parents in attendance for a couple of games. Can you just elaborate on what that means to you and how much more comfortable you are with them in a sense? Well, it means a lot. Uh, you know, families around me. Um, I've never been by myself since I'm here. So, Ooh, yeah. yeah, it's nice. You know, I've always been with my family and now they come in with me. So, and how you think you're navigating around the city? You got a favorite spot yet to eat or something like that? Uh, I like RPM Italian and I okay. like uh, Swahili Village too. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Appreciate it. Give me some time, my man.